Hi guys and welcome to another video and if you remember from my previous video I installed an LT1 Corvette engine into this Mazda Roadster. So yeah, 453 horsepower. It's quite a it's quite a beast if you ask me. And yeah, the car really wasn't handling as I expected. So it was it was absolutely impossible to drive this car. So I tried going around the corners, I mean, the tires really couldn't cope with this car. I mean, it was almost impossible to even keep it on the track, as you can see. Like, spinning out in second gear, just as I put the power down, even a little bit of power down, the car would spin. So, I decided to buy the good tires, buy pretty much all of the tires, and buy pretty much every part that I could. So, going from the tires, adding a nice high-end torque supercharger, which added up like a couple of hundred horsepower and now we are already at about 600 horsepower which was pretty incredible when I'm talking about a little Mazda that has not even a thousand kilos and that's around 2000 pounds I guess if I made the conversation correct I guess it's something like that but yeah just imagine putting almost six to seven or seven hundred horsepower into a car like that so it's really really light and adding up a lot of parts so pretty much anything that would give me just a little maybe even one extra horsepower and I don't even know how much money I spent on this car so it was it was actually quite a lot I mean just going from the engine okay I got the engine from my roulette tickets going here buying all of the tires buying all of the modifications out there and pretty much doing yeah, I think this is the best you can do with this car. So, yeah, that's a lot of credits for just a little Miata Roadster. And now it has around 750 horsepower. And for 5k more, you can add up an additional 20 horsepower. And yeah, now it's up to 829. So 829 horsepower in one little car. I didn't really need the power restrictor there, but I bought it because it was it was really, really cheap. One way to weigh LSD, I mean, it was pretty much it didn't really matter. I bought the brakes already. I bought, you know, the best parts out there. Uh, the braking pads were racing braking pads, uh, ceramic brakes, everything, literally everything that I could, I got onto this car. And, you know, 3.1K, I don't think I really needed it, but now 854 horsepower in such a little car so as you can see i bought pretty much every part that i could and yeah it would be a disaster if i just got there and bought a new engine so i decided to tune up this car even more gd auto car and maintenance and why not let's get this car a wide body kit it's only like 5k it already looks pretty pretty good i mean with you know it just a little miata usually looks like look at this guys just look at these guys they they are trying their best to make you know to make the most out of this car and yeah now it looks a little bit better i mean the white body kit is not really noticeable but it does make a little effect to the car i mean it does help but you know sometimes it's it's not this is not really need for speed you cannot really make something like that but it was interesting and then i decided like yeah good like wide like wide offset let's make it really really wide and put some 18 inch wheels but yeah 18 inch inch wheels really didn't look that great so i decided to go go, go with 17 inch and yeah front sides yeah i usually buy the type b i don't know type a is okay but you know you know i i just buy whatever i can and just doing a custom wing this was a pretty good one and i really like this one but i added a couple of that custom uh, custom plates from the side and it, the car was really looking a lot better now i mean it's 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 kind of looking like a tuner car something that you can you know something that you actually want to see on the road like and you will be like okay yeah this is this is the car this is the car it look it really looked nice i mean also it had around 850 horsepower which is pretty incredible roll bar because yeah if you if you go sideways something can happen you can roll over and that's game over i mean not like that i'm gonna you know not that i'm gonna roll over but just it's here for it's here for the effect number plates caliper i tried to do my best but it the red ones really looked nice i mean the greens ones 
I'm not really a fan of those like really really bright colors but red ones were kind of okay but in the end just decided to make this kind of a little bit different but in the end uh, I got most of the stuff yeah most of the stuff was going around here and yeah just adding a little bit of super cool lighting on it, they, they're actually called super cool I, I think they are super cool uh, going to the widest palettes of colors but this red color was actually pretty good and yeah I think I added most of the stuff here so I decided to go and do a drag race with this car but as, as, I, as I just tried to put the power down it was yeah it was something like this almost impossible to put the power down but as soon as I got into fourth gear the car got and it was impossible to catch. It was really, really impossible to catch. Racing soft tires, I mean, just look at the pace of this car. I mean, of course I'm gonna miss my breaking point because the car is now so fast. I mean, it has 850 horsepower, but just trying to keep this thing on the road, yeah, that's not gonna happen. So even in fourth gear, just turning the wheel slightly can mean like you're gonna lose. Now, traction control too, and this is actually done in 60 seconds. I done this track in 60 seconds. So going from 115 to 57 56 seconds yeah that's quite a that's quite an improvement so 57 seconds in my previous lap i decided to put the traction control down to two because it's like it's much it was much much easier to control like this so third gear on the way out not really using the whole width of the track because it was very hard even to race like this and you can see like i almost lost into the previous lap and even here with the traction control too in fourth gear it's it's incredibly hard to do it and then third gear just trying always always now trying to get out in higher gear four gear on the way out and we are already at like 250 kilometers per hour which is absolutely incredible for such a short straight and you know just exit fourth gear but the fifth gear would actually work but i got this one in 55.4 i know this lap can go down quite a lot but i was I was pretty happy with the result already but then I wanted to see like what can I do with this car so what is the actual top speed of this car so I played with the tuning settings a little bit and then I found like the 430 is probably the best point it, you're actually getting so much horsepower and so much output out of the car when you put the transmission to 430 I know I could have played with the settings I could have played with the setup a little bit better but you know, just a quick fix and trying to get this car to 400, four, I'm, I'm talking about 400 kilometers per hour in a Mazda, which was absolutely incredible. I mean, it, just trying to see this car, it, it was like, I was just trying to keep it on the track. I, I thought like, okay, I'm going to lose it. Something is going to happen and like a little wobble with this car and it's gone. And already at like 420 doing 420 and I knew when I get to this uphill section I'm gonna lose a bit of pace but then as I go down it, this actually has the potential to be like 430 maybe even more so uphill section right here and just this thing goes really really fast racing soft tires I wish they were like racing super soft tires so we can absolutely go over the limit with this car and you know just trying to get the most out of it as I said before 417 I lost a bit of time I lost a bit of speed on the way out the car actually got it started going up I mean I couldn't believe like I was on two wheels at that one point but now 420 425 and it was so close like getting 430 is it gonna be a thing uh, not quite so 429 and with a little bit of modification out there I think this could actually go to like 430 440 but eventually making this car to go this quick just incredible thing to do and as you can see the interior like doing a little just a little movement with the wheel can make you well start losing this car and it was almost impossible to get it back in line and it was it was always that little thing and yeah that's about it that's how you end this one so once again guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video not the videos that i usually do but ju i just wanted to have some fun so please, if you did like this, you can eventually even smash the like button. So once again, thank you and bye.